Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again with game three of our series between the 2018 Astros, who were 103 and 59 in 2018, and the 1983 Angels, who were 70 and 92 in 1983. We come in to game three in a tie. California having won game one by the score of 10 to 3. And if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go back and watch. And with Houston having won 4 to 2 in game two, um, with uh, on the strength mainly of three runs in the uh, seventh inning, which propelled them to the victory. And so today, we are in California, and uh, the visiting team is now the Astros, as that will be for games uh, three and four, and there will be a fourth game. It's a best of five series, and with each team tied at one, we are going at least four. So, um, Jose Altuve is going to lead off for the... Houston Astros, as he has, and in fact, the lineups, again, are not expected to change much, or at all, and uh, the um, and the pitcher for the California Angels, who's finishing his warm-ups here at home, is Mike Witt. Now, in 1983, Mike Witt was 7-14 and with a 491 earned run average. So they're certainly going to have to be careful with him, and you got to imagine he is probably on a short leash. But here we go. We're starting off. Jose L. Tuve steps into the box against Witt, and he gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. And we get the K for Witt. Yuli Guriel is up. He gets a 6-8, and that is a walk. So Guriel is aboard. Witt allows the first base runner of the game. Um, Alex Bregman is up. He gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop into a double play. And so that gets the Astros... That leaves the Astros wanting as they have gotten no runs off of Witt in the first inning. And so we go to the bottom of the first. And Juan Beniquez will lead off again. The lineup for the Angels is no different than it has been in the past two games. And pitching for Houston today will be Charlie Morton. And in 2018, Charlie Morton was 15 and 3 with a 3.13 earned run average. And he gets a 1 8, which is a pop out to third. One away. And Beniquez actually came into this game hitting well in the series. He was hitting 5 for 10, 500 coming in. Bobby Gritch gets a 4 6, and that is going to be a walk. So, there is a base runner. And the base runner is Gretsch. He does not have blazing speed. So, he won't be going anywhere. Rod Carew is up. He gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is Bregman, and he is a 2. That is a 16 and a 2 at third base. And that is an out double play. Carew hits into a double play. And the Angels come away with nothing, just like the Astros did in the first inning. Springer is coming up for the Astros. And he gets a 210, which is a single, and that's the first hit of the game.
Evan Gaddis is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball, third base, double play. So the Angels turn a double play, and now there is nobody on base. And Reddick comes up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and Reddick is retired. No runs come in for the uh, Astros in the second. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. Reggie Jackson stepping in. He gets a 212, which is a home run. Reggie takes Charlie Morton deep. And that's their first hit. That's Jackson's first home run of the series. So we have a hit and we have a run. Fred Lynn comes up and he gets a 4 6, which is a walk. So there's an angel on board. Doug DeSense is up. He gets a 6-7. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. That is El Tuve, and he is a 2. That's a 12. 12-2 12 at second base is an out. Double play. DeSense hits into a double play. There's two down. Nobody on. And Brian Downing is up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a walk. So Morton having a little control trouble here. And Bob Boone comes up and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. But California does get a run on a Reggie Jackson home run. Carlos Correa steps into the box as we go to the top of the third. He gets a 5'11. Catcher card X. Boone is a one at catcher. And that's a 17. And that is a wild pitch followed by a foul out. So there's one down. Korea out. Gonzalez, marvelous Marwin Gonzalez gets a triple one to four or a double. And that's going to be a double. And that's his first hit of the series. Tony Kemp is up. He gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. Kemp retired with, with his second strikeout of the game. And Jose L. Tuve is up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he's out. No runs come in there for the... Uh, for the Astros, despite the fact that marvelous Marwin Gonzalez did have a double in the inning, and they had a man at second base, but they couldn't get him in. We come to the bottom of the third, Tim Foley up. Both pitchers pitching pretty well here. 5-4, ground ball to the shortstop, that's Korea. Korea is a shortstop, too. That's a 7, that'll be a retirement of Tim Foley. And... Juan Benitez is up. He gets a 6-9. And that's a home run 1-12. And it is a home run. And that's the second home run of the game for the Angels. And Juan Benitez, of all people, gets it. And 
Okay, he, they got zero, and now they got one again. And we come to Baba Gritch with one out, and he gets a 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight is a triple one to two, or a single. And that's going to be a single. Bobby Gritch with a hit. Three hits now given up for Morton to go with three walks. Um, and there is, yes, there is one out and Rod Carew up. And he gets a 3-9, which is a single double asterisk and puts runners at the corners. So Morton is just getting his butt handed to him right here. That's what's going on there. Hit for the Angels. And another hit given up for Morton. The Astros will play the infield back with one down, hoping for the double play with Reggie Jackson up, and he gets a 6-3. To ground ball to first base. The first baseman is Gonzalez, and he's a 2. But that's a 1, so that's going to be a base hit. Yes, it is a single 1. So Jackson gets a single and knocks in his second run of the game. And uh, let's see. That's the fifth hit given up by Morton. Third run. And it is 3-0 with one out and Lynn up at the plate and he gets three nine which is a strikeout so there's two away and Doug DeCincy comes up and he gets six eight and that is a triple one to two or a single double asterisk and that's gonna be a triple knocks in both runners holy cow Another hit, and another two runs, and it's five nothing. And the Angels, or the uh, yeah, the Angels still have a runner, only ninety feet away with Brian Downing up, and he gets a six seven, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's El Tuve, and he's a two, and that's a nine, and he is out, but not before the Angels. Strike for four runs and take a five to nothing lead in the game. And to think that coming into this game, the one that you would be worried about normally would have been wet. But Yuli Guriel is going to lead off for Houston here in the top of the fourth with the Astros needing five runs before it's all over, said and done. Actually, six. Guriel gets a single, though. And uh, so let's see, that's their third hit. Bregman comes up, he gets a 3-4, which is a home run. And he hits a two-run jack of his own. And so the Astros are trying to climb right back into this thing. And you do it with wit. It may not last long. And it didn't. And they still have nobody out and Springer up at the plate. And he gets the 3-7, which is a ground ball to short. So he's out. One away, and Evan Gaddis up, and he gets a 2-2, two -two, which is a walk. Witt with his third walk against four hits allowed. 
And Redick up at the plate gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center, two away. And up steps Korea. And Korea gets a 6-8, which is a walk. And that brings up the marvelous Marwin, and he hits a ground ball to second base, and the Astros are out of the inning. But not before they get two and make the score five to two and try to pull themselves right back into this thing. Assuming that Morton doesn't give up any more. The fact that the uh, Astros got to probably is buying him at least the fourth inning to see if he can settle down. Bob Boone up. He gets a 4-6, which is a walk. And apparently, that's not the case. Bob Boone with a walk, and so the Astros are going to look at the bullpen. And they are going to get Colin McHugh up, warming up out there with uh, Tim Foley up. He gets a 3-8, and that's a single double asterisk. The Angels are just, they don't have any quit in them this game. And they're going to leave the infield back. They still have a good offense. They're thinking they can get back into this. Benitez gets a 3-8, which is a single-level asterisk. My God. Okay, so they did get another, they got another hit. And they got, they just got another run. And it's, again, runners at the corners with, um, with Bobby Gritch up. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball second base. He's a 2. That's a 7. That's probably a double play. And it is a double play, but another run comes in because there were no outs. So Gritch... It's into a fielder's choice, but the Angels score another run. And that is going to be it for Morton. He goes three and two-thirds. And they will bring in Colin McHugh. Colin McHugh in 2018 was 6-2 and two with... Uh, a 199 earned run average and 72 innings pitched. And he's making his first appearance of the uh, of this series. And this is a lot earlier than they were planning on Morton being really taken out of the game. And Rod Carew stepping up. Um, is somebody? No. No, they just hit into a double play end of the thing. Four and ten is a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a two. That is a 14. And that is an out. So Carew grounds out. Carew has not had a good series at all. But the Angels are having a good series considering who they're playing and the fact that they, uh, are, I mean, they were much worse than the Astro, than this Astros team in the season that they played. But it's translating to them being the better team here in this um, playoff. So we go to the top of the fifth. Tony Kemp is up for the Astros. He gets a 2-7, which is a walk. So he's aboard. 
Whit walking his fifth man. Jose Altuve gets a 6-11. That's a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is a three. That's a three. That may be an out, and it is. One away. Downing making the play. Altuve retired. Yuli Gurriel comes up and he gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman's DeCince, and he's a 2. And that is a 4, and a 2 is an out 1. So the runner moves to second. And there's two down. So the Astros, it would behoove them to try to get this guy home right now with Bregman up. He gets a 6-12, though, and that's a fly to right. And the right fielder is a 2. That's Beniquez, and that's a 17, probably an out. And it is. So Bregman flies out. And the Astros do not get any runs. They really needed to try to get that runner home. And it didn't work out. So we go to the bottom of the 5th. And Reginald Jackson, who has been big this game, gets a 4-9, which is a strikeout, one away. And that's what we're more, more used to seeing him do. That brings up Freddie Lynn, and he gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to the pitcher, and McHugh throws him out. And up steps Doug DeCince, and DeCince gets a 4-8, which is a strikeout. And the Angels get no runs there. We go to the top of the sixth. George Springer is up. And he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. One away. Gaddis comes up, he gets a 4-9, which is a fly ball to the right fielder, and he's out. Just missed a home run. And that brings up Josh Reddick, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. And you have got to be impressed with how Witt has been pitching today, considering his statistics from 1983. Um, and no runs come across for the Astros in the sixth. Now, you might think that that's uh, because, I mean, it may be because of the era that they played in in 1983, and then playing against modern teams, they are actually playing better. And in fact, that seems to be the case, because they were the underdog in round one, got out of round one. And the... Uh, Astros are going to bring in Will Harris to relieve McHugh. McHugh goes two. And then we've got Harris that we need to write in. And the Astros, yeah. No, the Astros were out. And now Brian Downey is up um, in the bottom of the sixth. And Downey gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a strikeout on Harris. Bob Boone is up. He gets a 4-6. That's a strikeout. Harris strikes out the first two guys he faces. And Tim Foley's up and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's El Tuve and he's a 2, and that's an out. So Foley is retired. We go to the top of the 7th.
and Carlos Correa will be up for the Astros. That's a 2-7, which is a fly ball to left. That's one away. Gonzalez comes up. He gets a 4-5, which is a single. So that's a hit for the Astros. Their fifth hit. Marvelous Marwin with it. Witt gives up his fifth hit. Tony Kemp comes up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball first base double play. So Kemp hits into a double play. Not Absolutely not what the Astros needed. And they are out of the inning. As we go to the bottom of the seventh. And Juan Benitez up at the plate. He gets a 3-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Bobby Gritch gets a 1-9, which is a home run 1-10. to No. <laughs> Hits it way back, though, and it is a home run. It does get out. So Bobby Gritch with a home run. That's his first of the series. And that's the seventh hit. Rod Carew is up. Rod Carew, who has not done much of anything this entire series, gets a single one to 12. And he does. So the, the Astros pitching has just been ravaged here this, this afternoon by the Angels. Reggie Jackson gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball third base or second base double play. So that will end the inning for the Angels as Reggie hits into a double play. But they do get another run on another home run yet again uh, by one of the Angels players. Um, specifically, this time, Bobby Gritch, I believe. And so, we go to the top of the eighth. And the Astros really need to get going here. Uh, Jose L. Tuve is up. He gets a 4-12, which is a ground ball first base, one away. Yuli Gurriel gets a 6-11, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for the Angels is downing, and he's a 3 that's a 19. Might be a roll again. And it is. And that's a 15 and a 3. That's going to be a single. So they they needed that. They need a whole bunch of that. And that is another hit for the Astros. And Guriel with it. Only one out. And up steps Bregman. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a ground ball second baseman. Second baseman's Gritch. He's a 2. That's a 16. That's probably an error. And it is a one-base error for Gritch. So here come the Astros. Bregman, you know, they'll take it any way they can get it. And, uh, and on base, you know, anyhow that they can do it. And that is an error for the Angels. Two on, one out, Springer up. Springer gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout, two away. Fourth strikeout for Witt. And Gaddis is up. He gets a 6-12. That's a ground ball B, and Gaddis is out. And so are the Astros out of the inning with no runs. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The Astros only have one more shot and I don't like their chances of making up six runs in one inning. But we'll see what happens. We'll see, heck, we'll see if the Angels get any more here. Fred Lynn is up. 
He gets a 3, 4, which is a double 1 to 13. What did I just say? And he does get a double. They are hitting the, the Astros pitching staff. Silly. So we've got Fred Lynn with a hit. And a double. Harris gives up his third hit. Doug DeSensei gets a 6-3, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is a uh, 3. That's Tony Kemp. That's a 1. That's going to be an out. That's a fly out. So DeSensei is out. And you got 1-8, Brian Downing walking on 1-8. Harris allowing his first walk since coming on. And Bob Boone is up. He gets a 5-2, which is a walk. And I think their attitude here is they're just going to let, you know, their, their, their attitude is this is Harris's game. They're already down by too many. There's one out. They'll play the infield back just because they have to get out of the inning and hope they can get out of the inning quickly. Tim Foley up. That's a 3-5, which is a ground ball double play. And that's exactly what happens. And had they had the infield in, it would have been a base hit. So, no runs come in for the Angels, despite the fact that they had runners all over the place. As they have most of this game. And that brings up Josh Reddick. Top of the ninth. And the uh, Astros need to get a ton of runs here. Six to be exact. Reddick up. He gets a 4-9, which is a fly ball to right. Carlos Correa up. He gets a 4-8, which is a home run 1-9 or a double. And Correa, yes. He got all of that, and it's back and gone. So Witt gives up his second homer and third run of the game. But with one out, they still need a lot more. They need five more. Marvelous Marwin gets a 4-7, which is a triple one to two or a single. And that's going to be a single for Marvelous Marwin. Gonzalez. And that's another hit for the Astros. Now they're out hitting the Angels, but certainly not outscoring them. And the Angels will get some uh, someone up in their bullpen. They're going to get John Curtis up. Curtis has not made an appearance yet in the uh, series. you got to think maybe Witt is running out of gas. And here comes Tony Kemp. With a 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight is a walk. So yeah, that might be exactly what's happening. Kemp with the walk. And El Tuve up at the plate. Gets a 1-6, which is a double 1-13. to 13. Look at this. Double. They do get the double, and a run comes in. They still need base runners and runs, so they aren't going to... Um, Try to stretch it. And that was a double. Wit getting hit. They get their ninth hit. They have runners at second and third with only one down. Um, and Yuli Guriel is up. And they did score. Did they score another run? No, they didn't score another run. But Guriel's up. He gets the 3 3, which is a ground ball, second base A. That's going to be two away. Um, let me see here. I don't know if a run scored on that. Ground ball, second base, A, batter is out at first. 
and the runners hold. So everything stays just like it is, except there's two out now. And Bregman up at the plate. And he gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball third base, and that is a 2. That's um, DeSense, and I believe he makes the play on that. And he does. So they don't get any more runs, and that's how the final score will be. 8 to 3. The final here as the Angels take a surprising 2 to 1 game lead in this best of 3 series. So if they win next time, they advance and leave the Astros in the dust. The Ain the Astros will need to win the next game to tie the series. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.